Hey guys, today we are in Golf uh, Mark 7. Over here I have my MIP2 standard infotainment system. You can see that it's running uh, firmware from the 400 series and this car originally from the factory came with uh, firmware from the 200 series. We can see the log. This is the firmware from the factory. I've updated it to this one and uh, some time ago I've updated it to the facelift firmware and this brought some new cool features like this new menu but this is not the uh, issue today let me show you what i'm talking about if we go to media play some music and go to settings and sound also balance we can see that the rear is working okay front is working okay but when selecting right side right front this speaker does not play but this one this one works so those channels are those channels are inverted so we are going to fix this today and I'm going to do this by switching the wiring in the mine unit over here so I have some tools I believe this should be enough so we have the radio infotainment removal tools i have a pick over here and this is terminal removal tool hopefully this will be enough so the mine unit is over here and let me just slide it out Here it is, we have the quad lock connector over here. And if you press over here, you can do this, disconnect it. And those eight over here are speakers. This pair over here and this is front. So we have rear, front, front, rear. So we need to switch this pair with this pair, yeah? row number two goes to row number three and row number three goes up a bit to row number two to release this orange brown connector we need to pry this little lock and this and once this is bent a little bit this will slide out to the back And right now we have this purple lock over here, which moves a little bit like this. And we need to push it outwards. And once this is pushed, I believe those pins will be close to being free. It looks like you actually need something like this to release those pins. I have one of those terminals released and you can see that there are there are two locks. One is over here and one is on the other side. So you need to put this inside and what, you, what this is doing is going like this grabbing the connector and pressing those two locks and with those two locks pressed you can 
slide it out. Okay, so here's the last one that I need to put in place right now. It's pretty simple, just push it and wait for the click. Uh -huh. Now the purple lock. Click and now quad lock connector click and we can connect it back to the mine unit. Let's try it out. Front right works. Front left works. Okay. It looks like I need to do the same for the rear. Okay, disassembled it again, switched those two, pin number one and five with pin number four and eight. And I believe now the rear channels should be on the correct sides as well. Let's listen. Right. That's correct. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.